What's up everyone? So this is going to be the first video in a series of videos that I'm creating called Hand Balancing the Art of Stillness. So basically what I want to do with this series is share ideas that I have about hand balancing so that you guys can, you know, possibly up your game and stuff. You know, like thinking about hand balancing differently. Um, so I'm just going to share thoughts and ideas and whatnot about balancing, pretty much. Because there's already a million videos on how to progress up to a handstand and how to achieve a press handstand, one arm handstand and shit. So I don't need to make them. I don't need to make one of those because there's a bunch already. Um, by the way, I'd recommend Yuri Marmerstein's one arm handstand progression video if you are looking for one arm handstand stuff because that's a really good video. Um, Although it doesn't really explain how to actually do the movements, just watching him do it is really cool. Anyways, let's get back to the topic. So, what I wanted to discuss right now was two different ways of balancing that I see people do. Um, basically, they're going to be the extremes. Some people do a mixture of both. Um, but the two that I'm thinking of are basically opposites almost. So the first way is called muscle, well, I call it muscle balancing, which is I don't care what my body does. I will react to whatever in whatever way possible to stay on my hands, despite, you know, like, like without thinking about what kind of shape my body is in. My only goal is to stay on my hands. That is muscle balancing with the only goal to do whatever you need to do, stay on your hands. And the other one is called, what I call at least, aesthetic balancing. Aesthetic balancing is having more control. It is, I am going to be in this position as I balance. I'm going to go from this position into this position while balancing. I'm going to perform this movement as I balance. So let me give you a quick demonstration. muscle balancing. That was aesthetic balancing. So you can see the difference between the two. Aesthetic balancing is just much more controlled, it's a lot more beautiful, and it requires much more skill as opposed to muscle balancing. Both technically achieve the goal of hand balancing, which as the name implies is to simply balance on your hands. Hand balancing. I was balancing on my hands in both, but really, Like, let me say it like this. Any douchebag can come up and dip a paintbrush and paint a canvas, but it is the intricate details and, you know, the tiny little things that make a painting beautiful. It is the details that you pay attention to in your own body that will make your handstand beautiful. And that is one of the goals of this video series. It is to teach you, or give you an idea at least, of how to completely control your body so that you can make it 
you know, make it beautiful. Express yourself with ease instead of doing some shit like this. Um, that's pretty much the end of this video, I suppose. I just wanted to share the idea of both of these, the idea of muscle balancing and the idea of aesthetic balancing. Aesthetic balancing is pretty much the real goal of hand balancing, but both are balancing. There's no, there is no right or wrong way to balance on your hands. Because I achieved balancing on my hands in both. I was balancing on my hands. There's, there are different ways to do it. And that's, that's one of the things that I want to share. One of the points of this video is that just because somebody does uh, something differently than you doesn't mean it's wrong. You know, if they can do a handstand and you can do a handstand, then you're both hand balancers. You're both balancing on your hands. That's the point of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, because tomorrow another one's coming out. Peace.